Good afternoon. Welcome to another Nick's Community Kitchen. Uh, can I firstly say a big hi to everybody down at Falmouth Sainsbury's. I've just done my big shot and couldn't believe how happy everybody was and how friendly it was. So thanks everybody. Okay, um, really easy one today. Just probably 10 minutes. One of my favourite things to eat. Definitely my favourite fish. Um, and in this form, something that everybody I'm sure will love. Um, it's a favourite of my mum's, it was a favourite of my grand's. Uh, smoked mackerel pate. Really, really easy, no cooking. Um, not really even a set recipe because everybody does it slightly different. Mine changes with what I've got in the cupboard. Um, but core ingredients roughly the same. So we've got some really lovely smoked, naturally smoked mackerel. Try and stay away from the orange coloured mackerels which are, which are not naturally smoked. These are naturally oak smoked. Um, beautiful fish. Um, still with the skins on so you can still see the natural uh, marbling of the fish. Those lovely stripy tiger lines of the fish. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, I don't take the bones out of these because of the way they're smoked and how, how light the bones are. If you want to, you can, but it's pretty fiddly. Um, core ingredients, smoked mackerel. I'm always the same. Cream cheese, full fat, low fat, no, no issue. Horseradish sauce, lemon. I always put a bit of dill in there. This has seen better days, but it'll still give the flavor. Um, and a good twist of pepper. Um, hands, cleaned my hands. Um, really simple. Gonna take the skins off the fish. And it is literally just a case of grabbing the skins, how you can do it, um, and peeling them off. Okay. That under skin is just, that's very soft. Um, it's just the, the, the tougher outer skin that you need to take off. So there we go. I'm going to get cloth. So, mackerel fillets. A bit like you would with pulled pork. You can get your fingers in there if you want. Um, but two porks. Just break up the macro. Now, you'll see a lot of recipes where it'll say put it in a food mixer. I really love it while, it, while it's rough and, and rustic. Um, you've got chunks of fish. If you put it in a food mixer, it will literally blitz it to the consistency of the cream cheese. And I always think that you lose the macro in that. Um, so I literally just break it into pieces. Because I, I know I want to taste the mackerel. I don't. I want the mackerel to be the dominant part of the recipe. So there you go. So it's literally just broken up. Now, as I said, I will put a recipe on the Green Bank website as always. Um, but I've just got some cream cheese. I'm just looking at that and I'm thinking, okay, roughly say half. So dollar for cream cheese. Side. Horseradish sauce, not everybody's cup of tea. Strange enough, I'm not a horseradish sauce fan with beef, but I love the flavour of it in with, with the mackerel. So, again, think about your ratios. It's just a flavour, so a teaspoon rather than the other, the big spoon. And on the fresh dill. I'm going to use pretty much all of this, it's on its last legs, but still, it's a lovely flavour. Gill with smoked fish is an absolute winner. So, just a nice rough chop. In it goes. Lemon. I'm just going to zest the fine zest. One side is a lemon. I'm keeping the other side intact. I'll show you why in a second. Okay. I'm going to use that side in a minute. 
So there's no pips in there, so squeeze the lemon. And there we've got the zest. Make sure it's pepper, not the salt. Yeah, it's pepper. Nice twist of pepper. Now, I don't put salt in my, my mackerel pâtés because it's salted while it's smoked. So it's quite a salty fish. Um, so I literally, I, I don't salt it. You, you can do, but I don't think it's necessary. Now for me, let's have a quick taste. pepper. Now for me, that is the start of one of the best lunches that you can get. And this will be our lunch today, so good news. Right. So there, smoked mackerel pate. Show you one more quick thing. You can use the same bowl. So I've got some cooked new potatoes. And I do mean use the same bowl because it's the same fish. So cooked new potatoes, just cut them chunky. With all this, this beautiful weather we've had, I think this kind of food's starting to um, starting to, to uh, come into our shopping now. Uh, it does look like we're going to get it for a bit longer. Uh, some grapes. Just cut them up. A little bit of apple. Slice or dice, I'm going to slice mine I think. So if you remember, root side, 45 degree angle, take the root out, use your claw. and just a little tad of olive oil. So, same fish, just tear, break it off the skin, and take the skin off first, easier. Take it off the skin, you can leave the skin on if you like, but, but this time just breaking chunks of the fish into the salad. We'll just do one fillet. But in the bowl, you've already had the smoked mackerel pate. So that will actually add to the dressing. So remember, you've got the cream cheese, the flavours in there. So we're creating a lovely sort of spring summer mackerel salad. Righty, that's two parts. Quick tie Basically, I'll just put the dish together for you. Show you one other thing. You might have seen this before, you might not. But when, a bit old school now, really, but what we used to call Malba toast, but I still think it's beautiful with uh, smoked mackerel pate. I've got two toasted pieces of, of bread. I'm going, to, I'm going to go with a flat knife 
and I'm actually cutting through the middle of the toast. And it's really quite easy because the middle of the toast is quite soft. Okay. There we go. And I'm going to cut that into, into sort of triangles around the, uh, the shape of the bread. Now I would do this the day before, and you just leave that in the bottom of a, of a warm oven to crisp up the other side. You can pop it back in the toaster, but be careful. But there you've got your beautiful Malva toast. So, nice sunny lunchtime, evening meal. We have got the beautiful smoked mackerel salad with apples, grapes, a bit of red onion. You've still got the flavours from the smoked mackerel pate. You've got your lovely crisp toasts. I've got a nice piece of, um, made this yesterday actually. There you go. Smoked mackerel pate, smoked mackerel salad, literally one of my favourite meals. I can eat this any time of the year, but especially today in the sun. Okay, stay safe. And I'll see you later in the week.